Hello, my name is Paul Simone. I'm a professor here in the chemistry department at the University of Memphis. Today I'm going to talk to you about the analysis and confirmation of 1,3-DMAA and 1,4-DMAA in geranium plants using high performance liquid chromatography with tandem mass spectrometry. And the analysis concentrations are in the range of the nanogram per gram concentration in the geranium plant. My co-authors are Heather L. Fleming, a graduate student, and Patricia L. Renivo, a postdoctoral fellow in chemistry, both in the Mobile Analytical Monitoring and Miniaturization Laboratory here at the University of Memphis. In the past three years, the United States Food and Drug Administration has questioned whether 1,3-DMAA is a naturally occurring chemical regulated under the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act. This paper reports the analysis of 1,3-DMAA and 1,4-DMAA in geranium plants from three regions in China. Kungming, Changshao, and Guiyang at detection limits in the nanogram per gram range using both external calibration and standard edition calibration. One of the Changshao samples was also analyzed by another laboratory and the analysis reported here in this paper provides the first multi-laboratory confirmation of 1,3-DMAA present in a single geranium sample. During the analysis, the geranium plant matrix was found to suppress the signal of 1,3-DMAA and 1,4-DMAA in spike standards, and this might result in underreporting of analyte concentrations. The standard edition protocol in spikes in known concentrations of the analyte species, followed by generation of a linear regression line. The absolute value of the x-intercept is related to the concentration of the analyte in the sample. Standard edition provides excellent mitigation of matrix effects as evidenced by the much improved spike recoveries in our geranium plant samples. The standard edition protocol also provides another level of analytical confirmation for the presence of 1,3-DMAA in the geranium plants. In many biological systems, the synthesis of natural products is expected to be skewed to particular stereoisomers. The different stereoisomer conformations can also have distinct biological effect. Here, the diastereomer ratios of the 1,3-DMAA in the geranium is compared to synthetically produced 1,3-DMAA standards. If the diastereomer ratio of 1,3-DMAA in the geranium plant is identical to a racemic standard, then this can have important regulatory implications. The results of the diastereomer comparison found that the ratios of 1,3-DMAA in the plant and synthetic standard were equivalent within the error of analysis. Thank you for viewing this video abstract and I hope you enjoy the paper.